All right, we're going to go over applying motion blur to moving particles in X particles. This should be a quick one. So I'm just going to create an X particle system here. Bring our emitter up. Going to apply a MoGraph cloner, a cube. Bring that cube down to say 20 by 20 by 20. Move this out of the way. I'm going to put the cube into the cloner object, move this down into generator, click on the cloner object, create an object, apply the emitter, go into the emitter, go to editing, apply editable. I'm going to lower my emission birth rate here to 5, and now we should have some moving particles probably up the speed just a tad and now we got some quick moving particles now it's pretty simple to apply motion blur here in octane we're going to create an object camera click on the camera tag go to motion blur enable and you usually want to be pretty low like 0 0.02 now to apply motion blur to these cubes we're going to go to the cloner add an object, octane object tag, go into here and change transform to transform vertex in the motion blur tab. Now if we restart our simulation here, we have motion blur on our moving particles. Now say you didn't use a cloner and you used a generator, XP generator instead with the cubes or whatever particles you have underneath it, it works the same way. You just apply that octane object tag to this generator and it works the same way. You just select the object tag, transform vertex. And that, my friends, is how to apply motion blur to moving particles and X particles. Thank you for watching.